Hey, I'm Heath Mulliken with the Techology Show and ChaseYourLine.com, inspired by this guy. This is a dream come true, meeting him tonight. And, uh, Mark, thank you so much for the message you shared on, on the calling tonight. Uh, three quick questions for you. You said that everything at your church is an experiment. Uh, what are some ways that that has been fleshed out for you guys? Man, you know, it, it gives you the freedom to fail, right. which is really cool. Um, and so we're always trying to try new stuff. I mean, like we view every sermon series like this is an experiment. Let's brand it, see how it works. Um, uh, missions, we try to experiment with doing. I mean, we're launching a cafe in Berlin. Wow. That's a pretty big experiment. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we feel like we want to keep trying new things and pushing the envelope. Um, you know, and part of it just comes out of um, theologically, um, you know, six times in the Psalms it says sing a new song to the Lord. Right. And then in the New Testament you have new wineskins. I mean, you just can't keep doing it the way it's always been done. Um, and so I think the church ought to be an incubator for innovation ought to i mean we need to redeem technology and use it for god's purposes so and so experimentation ought to be part of our dna uh also earlier this year you guys one of the one of your primary meeting locations was the the union station uh location earlier this year uh some things went down you lost that location how did you just tell us a little bit about that and how did your church respond in, in a pretty quick time yeah. to, to keep kingdom work going? Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's a promise in Revelation 3 that what God opens, no one can shut. What he shuts, no one can open. See, I place before you an open door. We love open doors. Closed doors, not so much. But it's disingenuous to pray for open doors if you don't also accept closed doors. And so when God closed that door, I mean, we found out on a Monday that the next Sunday would be our last service. I mean, you know, we were multi-site and, and we were spread out, but I mean, how do you move hundreds and hundreds of people and three services in, in one week? Um, it was crazy. Um, but at the end of the day, what happened was we, we ended up finding a theater that we would have never considered. And so that led to our fifth location, which led to our sixth location. And then we just purchased property on Capitol Hill, a $3 million miracle that got us the piece of property. And so we're going to build a theater. Well, I don't, I don't think any of that would have happened if we had just maintained the status quo at Union Station. So praise God. Yeah. Praise God for closed doors. Uh, last thing is, uh, your next book, Soul Print, hits in a couple of weeks. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and where people can pick it up. Yeah, um, at a bookstore near you. Um, you know, Amazon.com is, you know, where I buy most of my books, so it's available there uh, January 18th. And um, in, in a nutshell, it's a book about five defining moments in David's life. It's going to be really inspirational and help people discover their own defining moments, and I think have a clearer picture of the destiny that God has for them. And so uh, uh, January 18th comes out and excited about it. So um, by the way, I, I think I saw your tweet. Did you tweet and say, what, what, what are the chances of getting an interview at the gathering? There you go. Um, I do read the at replies, <laughs> so um, the chances were pretty good. Um, yeah. Listen, man, it, it's just an honor, like I said, an honor to meet you. Appreciate all that you do, and you've inspired a lot of us. And uh, know that you're prayed for, and uh, we just thank you for the inspiration you gave us tonight. Thank you. All right. God bless. See you guys.